we're going to go over my picks for July 2011 and uh, this is a good month, really good month actually. We uh, first start off with 40 Watt Sun, The Inside Room, one of the best metal albums of the year. Um, uh, this emotionally uh, draining album, but uh, one of the best you'll ever listen to. Check it out. It's on Metal Blade, and Metal Blade has been putting out a lot of good metal albums this year. Uh, next we have Ashton Shepard with Where Country Grows. The only competition that this chick has. She's my age, 25 years old, and she has a four and a half star album. Tell me that's not talent. The only competition she has is from Miranda Lambert. That's it. Um, here she changes up her style a little, little bit, tries to get a few more hits with uh, modern country because it's all about pop and whatnot. But uh, she's one of the best young talents in country you'll probably listen to all year. Um, next we have the Dexter Ron Weber duo with Is That You in the Blue. Um, this is just angry, angry, angry blues. Um, psychedelic. It's all over the place and with with it being on a label called Bloodshot you know what you're getting into basically. Um, next we have Nikki Jean with Pennies in a Jar. Uh, she takes all these interpretations all over the map on this one from I believe it's Leonard Cohen to Bob Dylan, this person, that person. And does it her own style. It's not really R&B, it's not really pop, it's her own path. Go along and uh, you know, buy it. I know it won't cost pennies in jar, but you'll feel rewarded. Um, next we have the Lost Sounds of Black Static. Yes, I know what you're saying, Rob. You already showcased Jay Riotard on an earlier album. Yeah, an earlier album. Earlier months, and I'll say, yeah, I did. But this is one of his uh, great releases. Uh, punk, pop, and it's uh, ferocious. It's incredible. The dude was really coming coming together with this time, and I really wish he would stay with this band because they probably could have done some big things. And even if they didn't, they definitely would have had a lot of good albums. Um, next, we have Thomas Dive Doll with songs. Um, this man is <coughs> the Norwegian Nick Drake. Um, the dude is incredible with his songs. This is a compilation showcasing uh, his song, best songs from his previous five albums. Check him out. He needs to have some kind of dent in America because this guy's talented. And lastly, we have William Elliott with more with field songs. This is a field recording. I mean, you'll hear birds chirping. You'll hear a lot of sounds you don't hear on a polished release. Um, it's uh, one of the most uncompromising angry records, but not angry for the sake of being, it's for the sake of it being angry, it's angry to make a difference, angry to change the world, to do better. Um, it's, it's one of the most inspirational folk albums you'll hear all year. Um, check it out. You won't be disappointed. That is my favorite album of 2011. One of my favorites, but it's my favorite for July as well. Um, I will see you next time for August. Ta-ta for now.